Welcome to my channel, in this video, we are going to see, how to create the simple sliding icon hover effect using HTML and CSS. Take a look at the final demo, in which we can notice the full screen background image, see when we resize the browser, the background image occupies the full width of the browser. Whenever we hover over the icon elements, see the top and bottom sliders are coming in, one after other. This is achieved by using the before and after pseudo elements. And I'm going to use the font awesome icons. Whenever we resize the browser, the horizontal icons turn into the vertical icons. and also go through the Dropbox link below this video, where you can download the project folder of this demo. Let's get started with HTML structure, create the wrapper development with the unordered list. Within that create the list items with anchor tags, and add the font awesome icons. First, open the font awesome icons and then add the CDN link to access the font awesome icons. Now open the icons and search for the required icons. and add them to the HTML structure. Check for the Font Awesome and CDN links below this video. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. Now 
let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. Now start writing the CSS by setting the margin and padding values of all default HTML elements to zero. Set the full screen background image to the body, first, using the URL method pass the image. Use the no repeat value to stop the repeating of the image. Position the image correctly using the top center value. Use the background size property allows the image to occupy the entire width of the browser. But even we resize the browser, the image doesn't occupy the full height. So set the height unit value to VH, where VH is viewport height, so that it occupies the entire height of the browser. Now place the wrapper div element in the center of the browser, by setting its position value to the absolute, which is relative to the body, and set its top and left values to 50%. And we can clearly see that, the wrapper div element is not placed exactly in the center due to negative margins. To remove the negative margin, we can use the translate method of the transform property. Remove the bullet points using list style property, and set the 700 pixels of the width of the unordered list. Now style the list items, by setting its width and height to 90 pixels, and float them to left. Set the 20 pixels of the left and right margin. Set the background color and 50% of the border radius. Set the position value to the relative, so that we can place the icons in the center of the list items. Now place the icons in the center of the items, by setting its position to absolute, which is relative to the list items, and set the top and left values to 50%. To remove the negative margins, use the translate method of the transform property. Increase the font size and change the color of the icons. Now 
using the before pseudo element, let's create the first slider, use the absolute position, top, and right properties. Next set the 100% width and height, which is equivalent to its parent list items. Set the border radius and background color to the slider. Now use the translate and rotate methods of the transform property and place the slider in the top left position. By setting the transform origin property to top left, the slider originates from that position. Use the transition property to the smooth effect. Now whenever we hover over list items, a sliding effect takes place. Set the translate and rotate method values to zero, and use the transition property. Actually here, two transition effects are taking place, first, when our mouse pointer enters the list items. Second, when the mouse pointer leaves the list items. When the mouse pointer enters, transition effects duration is 0.4 seconds the same as the mouse pointer leaves the items. Let's clearly see the difference by increasing the duration of the transition of the before element. Now we can notice that two different transition effects are taking place here. 0.4 seconds of the transition effect when the pointer enters, and 1 second of the transition effect when the pointer leaves the item. Change to its initial value and set the 0.4 seconds of the delay it, so that the first slider, slides in first and slides out last. Now create the second slider as same as the first slider, but set the bottom and left values to zero. and change the translate method values. And change the transform origin values to bottom left, and remove the delay in the transition property. Now 
applied the hover effect to the after element. Look at the origination of the second slider, where it is originating from the bottom left. Add the 0.4 seconds delay to the after effect on hover. Here the first slider, slides in first and slides out last. And the second slider, slides in last and slides out first. Set the Z-index value of the icons to high, so that the icons remain above all elements. Now set the overflow hidden to the list items to hide the sliders. Using the media queries, turn the horizontal icons into the vertical icons. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section, see you in another video.